This is the garden report for the end of July 2022. I've started my onion harvesting. This is one half of my harvest so far. I collected them early morning when the dew was on the ground so they were a bit dirty and need to be brushed off. Here's the deck with a couple of new additions. The flowers on the Tacoma disappeared very quickly. They don't last very long, but there are some new ones coming along. Very busy with ants. That pepper there is a gift from a friend, an Ajichirapita. Okay, let's go check out the greenhouse. Lots of plantains gone to seed in this patch of grass here. I'm not too worried about that. I haven't cut the grass there with the mower for the last four weeks, I don't think. Oh, gasoline is so expensive, you know. So I've been using the scythe. Problems in the tomatoes with pesky birds that seem to be able to tell where exactly when the fruit is coming ripe and if they see the slightest bit of rosiness on there they will go at go at, go at it with their pecky beaks. Otherwise the tomatoes are looking pretty good. Fairly big and I've made about 11 litres of tomato juice already. The loofah's not looking too shabby as well. As usual, lots of ants on those loofahs. beans are looking very good at the moment. There are lots of small beans coming. Let's go around this way. This patch of grass I've been cutting with the scythe early mornings works extremely well. Grass straight on the compost, done in about half an hour. Lettuce is coming along. They're partly there as a detection mechanism to see if there are any groundhogs around. If the lettuces become attacked then there must be groundhogs. The potatoes are almost ready for harvesting. There's more foliage from weeds there now than there is from actual potatoes, so they can be dug any time. Gladiolus. Not looking too shabby. Still lots of weeds to collect for the compost. And of course the rhubarb burns off in the heat. That's normal. They will recover. Asparagus is recovering slowly year by year. I have peppers here. But so far, very, very few eggplant. I don't know 
It's my first year growing eggplant seriously. It may be that what the eggplant prefers to do is get really beefy in the plant and then it can start producing fruits. I think maybe that's the way it goes. Peppers looking good. The flax that was there in amongst these weeds has been harvested, uh, turned ripe, and um, I will be seeing how many seeds I manage to generate. Very good squash. There's only butternut here this year, no buttercup. This area has to be cleaned out from all of those uh, rather useless strawberries. Thankfully the birds left my sunflower heads alone. I managed to harvest all the big ones. The small ones don't seem to contain very much in the way of good oily seeds. So in a future year I will not uh, keep the small flowers. I don't think they're even worth retaining for bird seed, but we'll see. Well, that's as much as I can think to report this this time around. Thank you for watching.